Yeah. When we invaded North Africa, that was in 1942. That was our first major action. And let me tell you, when, when we got to Port Leone, I was scared to death. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> and uh, most of the enlisted men were hiding under the table. <laughs> I don't know what they were hiding from. <laughs> if we got a shell, they would sure get it under that table. But uh, but anyway, this was a very frightening thing. The first action is is horrible, and uh, um, we were coming in to Port Leone, which is about a hundred miles north of Casablanca, and. Uh, The uh, first problem we had was uh, the captain said, uh, God, that pilot's going to be a Frenchman. Is anybody can speak French? <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. <laughs> so, uh, so we called down to the wardroom, which is the officer's area, called down to the wardroom. Is anybody there can speak French? <laughs> so, so this lieutenant said, oh, I got straight A's in Annapolis from and my friends. <laughs> he said, sure, I'll go up. <laughs> so we went up. The captain said, uh, uh, now I want you to be my interpreter. Yes, sir. <laughs> the pilot came aboard and uh, got up to the bridge. He said, it's a hell of a day for an invasion. <laughs> it's raining and and the wind was blowing like crazy, and and uh, hey, uh, uh, the lieutenant, God, I don't, couldn't understand what he said. <laughs> Captain said, "What did he say?" <laughs> well, you go back to the wardroom. <laughs> Little enlisted men said, "Well, Captain, he said it's a hell of a day for an invasion." Okay, kid, you come over. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we got to uh, Port Leone, and uh, we were having, it wasn't, wasn't much action in Port Leone, but uh, we bombarded one beach, but we kept seeing another beach, which was just under a very steep cliff um, that a lot of soldiers were getting hit, and uh, so uh, we, you know, things were very uh, crude in those days, so uh, our captain, our admiral was big water boy, <laughs> and Patton was big dough boy. <laughs> it was a very complicated uh, uh, arrangement. So uh, big big water boy called big dough boy and said, uh, "We're very concerned about point so and so, the beach that was under that big cliff." And uh, Cap uh, and Patton said, "I'll be there." <laughs> so, so he gets in the PT boat. You know, there's nothing short about Patton. He, he had to have a good show everywhere he went. He came in this PT boat over to uh, our ship. He said, "Where's your admiral?" <laughs> he said, uh, "Admiral." He said, "Destroy that castle." There was a big castle up on the top of the cliff. And uh, he said, uh, Buckner, his, his number two general, Buckner wants to use it for a command station, but uh, he knocked the damn thing down. <laughs> Patton was full of profanity. He was, every, every, there wasn't a plain English word in any of his vocabulary. <laughs> he was a very profane guy. So we, we, uh, opened up with our 14-inch guns and destroyed the castle within a couple of minutes.